Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheryl and next to me is Miss Ari. Say hi Ari. Hello guys. <laughs> and in today's video, Ari and I, we are going to be, um, we're going to reassess and reevaluate all the items that we got in January's BoxyCharm unboxing of the base and premium box. So, if you want a more in-depth review of everything that we got last month, We'll stick around and definitely keep on watching. Okay, so just a heads up, this is the first video uh, of this new series that Ari and I are filming, so we're not really sure how we want to do it so just bear with us also just a quick disclaimer when Ari and I unbox um, the BoxyCharm boxes um, what we usually will do is like swatch if we get like um, eyeshadow palettes or lip liners um, who, whoever's opening up the box that the item comes in will swatch it but uh, that doesn't necessarily mean like if I'm opening up the base box that I'm going to go ahead and just choose everything that's in that base box for that month to go ahead and test over the next 30 days. So I just wanted to make um, perfectly clear that our hands are always clean and just because if I happen to swatch um, an eyeshadow palette, a couple of shades or whatever, while uh, during the unboxing and Ari happens to want that eyeshadow palette to go ahead and um, uh, review or uh, use over the next 30 days for this series. Um, it, everything is cleaned afterwards. Um, like I said, both our hands are clean. Um, we don't share makeup or anything. Um, even like just swatching a lip liner, um, everything is sanitized afterwards uh, when we shut off the camera and decide which items we want from um, each box. So um, the only time that would be different is if there's like a mascara or a liquid lip or something and I just had to try it right then and there during the filming of the unboxing, I definitely wouldn't have Ari take those items or take that item to go ahead and try over the next 30 days. I would just keep it because we don't share makeup. I don't believe in that. I know you guys don't know me, but Ari knows me and people who are close to me, they know I'm a lunatic about cleanliness and not sharing makeup, um, especially mascaras and or you know lip products. I, I just don't do that. I don't believe in that. So I just wanted to disclaim, you know, do, do a quick disclaimer about that. So, um, anyways, um, moving on. <laughs> so Ari, did you want to start, or you yeah, want me to start? I, I go ahead and start. Okay. Like um, I said, we're not. We don't really know how we want to film this, so just bear with us. I think we're just gonna kind of alternate. So, um, what did you wanna um, kind of share your thoughts and stuff um, over the last thirty days? I'll start with we got this Juice Beauty um, Bamboo Pore Refining Mask, and I've been using it. It starts to use it like two to four times a week. I think I've been using it about like two to three times a week, mm -hmm. and I've noticed it's been really moisturizing. I'm pretty sure it has shrunk my pores, although I've been using this um, serum primer as well, which I'm sure they're kind of going hand in hand with each other and helping nice. with that. So I, I really like it. When you put it on, it has a warming feeling instead of a cooling feeling, and it's really easy to take off. You can't just like put your face in the sink and wash it off though. You do have to get a towel wet and then swipe it around your face, but otherwise, yeah. Oh, <laughs> good save. <laughs> That's cool. And also, um, um, Gunner tried it. My son Gunner mm -hmm. um, is um, Ari's boyfriend as well. So, and he tried it. He liked it. Or? Yeah, we've been using it. He's been using it a few times a week too, and he likes it. He has fun putting them on. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Also, um, while we're re um, reviewing. Um, each of the items, I'm gonna go ahead and try, during editing, try to put up some video that, you know, Ari may have filmed herself doing uh, the mask or whatever, trying on these products um, or pictures. So um, I will be, you know, also uh, putting those up throughout this video as well. So 
You want me to go next? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So I have my. I wrote down some of my thoughts on... She's more prepared. <laughs> no, it's because I'm 100 years old. I write everything down because I can't remember. So um, anyway, so I think I'll... So if I continue to look down, I apologize. But um, I think I'm going to start off with the Pharmacy uh, Feeling Good uh, Plumping Serum. Um, overall, I, I liked it. Uh, it felt good. It was um, extremely light. Did I notice uh, kind of my uh, a plumping of my face and stuff? Not, not really. I didn't. I did use it um, every single night um, along with my normal skincare routine. So um, I did like it. Was it life changing for me? No. So a couple of things that I did really like is when I put it on my face, it did um, absorb uh, extremely quickly into the skin. So I liked that. It has a very, very light scent. I enjoyed that as well. So overall, you know, I, I did like it. All right, since I kind of brought it up when reviewing the face mask, we have the Lisp Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. And I haven't, this hasn't been like the best product for me just because it's really, really liquidy. It's easy to like spill it. And after putting it on my skin, as easy as it goes on within like two minutes, this face feels really, really sticky. And I know some people might like that. I'm just not the biggest fan. Um, as far as how it works and quality, I do think that it keeps especially my eyeshadows on and if I put this on before putting on foundation and powder, I have noticed that stayed on like throughout the day, but I'm just not a fan of how it like feels on my skin, but otherwise it's worked. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna talk about is this Kosas um, uh, Brow Gel. This is an incredible product. This was so good. I don't do much with my eyebrows, but I loved how uh, this um, didn't feel uh, goopy or um, sticky. It didn't leave like a white cast or a white film on my eyebrows. Um, they, it, it managed to keep my eyebrows like um, up and just kind of, um, full and fluffy looking and then afterwards I would uh, follow it with my normal um, tinted brow gel and I just I just really really enjoyed this product a lot and um, highly highly recommend this one this was this was great all right the last skincare thing that I got is this wishful clean genie cleansing butter and super nice I've been using it um, almost every night to wash off my makeup if I have like a lot of makeup on. It does work really well at melting the makeup away. I notice, especially with mascara, I have a problem with mascara staying on and not washing off super great. But if you get just like a little bit of this on your fingers and just like rub it kind of on your eyes, then it melts away within like, like five seconds of using it. And then you rinse it off and your skin feels really like I want to say buttery, I don't know if that's the right word, but moisturized. I don't feel dry at all after using this. So, so. it's extremely hydrating. Exactly, nice. yeah. Good. Um, I would definitely suggest this product. Very cool, nice. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about from Earth Harbor is this Nymph Nectar uh, Balm. And I really, really l liked this. I actually use this on um, my hands, the, my hands are horribly, horribly dry and cracked, especially in the wintertime, the cold weather now. But I use this every day. I also um, uh, put a little bit on my finger and rub it because it's got a little bit of a, a grittiness, almost like a scrub, uh, which is normal. But um, I would rub it between my fingers to soften it and I used it um, on my lips and it was extremely hydrating and moisturizing. I loved it. And when I say <laughs> that I use it every day for my hands, I was not lying. And then mm, probably like at least 
three times a week on my lips. So I really, really uh, like this and highly, highly recommend this as well. This was great. So yeah, and then um, um, when I when I put it on my hands and my lips, but especially my hands um, because they are so, so dry and cracked, um, you could literally feel it working immediately and it just and it actually stayed on it stays on quite uh quite a long time so yeah this was fantastic i loved this this was great all right i've got the yeah, i'm dropping everything oh my gosh the dragon beauty extra extra long lip liner oh i forgot about that i've been using this oh. like with every single makeup look i'm using it right now i have it on um, it's just a really, really good shade. Remember, it's that like light brownish tan kind of color. Nice neutral color. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And because of how long it is, there's so much product. <laughs> and it came with a little sharpener too. Oh, so yeah. I don't have to worry about like going and getting a sharpener just for this. Um, yeah, super good product. I've really enjoyed using it. <laughs> cool. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about, actually two things, because uh, I've been using these together um, over the last 30 days, is the uh, Persona uh, lip liner and the lipstick from Context. And the, we'll start with the lip liner. The lip liner was great. It uh, was a really beautiful color, uh, very neutral. It went on, it was uh, glided on easily, uh, nice and smooth, uh, felt buttery. Uh, didn't, when I was applying it, didn't like, kind of like stick or, you know, just kind of, like I said, glided on. And then um, the lipstick uh, was really, really nice as well. I liked it, um, really, really pretty color. I noticed when um, I w was filming a little bit of me putting this on or applying the lipstick that on camera it came off more orangey, but it really was not. In person, uh, it was a, like a neutral color with a nice kind of a brownie undertone to it. So again, it this glided on, felt soft and buttery. The two of them together, uh, I really liked. Mm, I would definitely recommend these two. It was just a nice product. You okay. know? Yeah, I liked them. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna be doing these two at a time. We've got this eyeshadow palette from, what was it? A Ather? Ather uh, Beauty? Aether. Aether. Aether Beauty. And then this Persona Black Waterproof Eyeliner. This eyeliner I've been using quite a bit. It's, it's waterproof, it goes on smoothly, it doesn't seem to run after you put it on. There's not too much to say about it other than that it's, it's a good eyeliner. I like it. Was it easy to sharpen? Yeah, yeah, it's been easy to sharpen. And I haven't sharpened it in a while because I've been using it, but I, I've enjoyed doing it. If you want a eyeliner that'll stay on like all day, and all night after trying to wash it off, it will stay on. Mm. It is hard to get off if you don't have like Q-tips that you're willing to go in like on your waterline with. But otherwise, I really like it a lot. It's been good. Cool. And I've been, um, I took a little video of a makeup look that I did with this palette. And in that makeup look, I also was wearing the, the, the lip pencil and the eyeliner. This eyeshadow palette has been a lot of fun to experiment with. I, it, it's been good. The only thing that's bad is that they are like really, really, really powdery. Like if you like look right now, like it comes yeah. off like. A lot of fallout. Exactly, mm. yeah. So when putting it on, I notice yeah. I have to like go in with a brush and like wipe anything that's fallen onto my skin and just like be extra careful with it. The glitters are also really hard. They're not soft, so you can't like use a makeup brush with them. You have to use like a little sponge or your finger, which is what I used in the video that you guys will see. Oh, wow. um, but it's been a lot of fun. I mostly like what the brand stands for, how they stand for using like all recyclable items. Mm -hmm. And that's why it doesn't have a mirror in it because they didn't want to be producing that extra waste. 
So if you're looking for a brand support that is, you know, like in tune with the universe and not wanting to create more like plastic waste, then I would definitely support them again. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, the, the one shade is really pretty that really pops. The that, bright pink? Yeah, that yeah. pinky peach shade. Yeah, yeah, that's really pretty. All right, so the last thing that we're going to talk about is this eyeshadow palette from Real Her, Dream So Big. And here is what it looks like inside. Um, I used two matte shades and two shimmer shades um, in the look that uh, I did. I only used this once. Um, it was it was nice. Uh, the eyeshadows blended really pretty good. Uh, they were soft, no fallout, which was kind of nice. Um, I don't care about fallout, but some people do, but this had no fallout on um, any of the four shades that I used. And um, I, it's just a typical neutral palette. However, I do feel like you could uh, create some pretty soft, neutral, romantic looks with it. Uh, will I reach for this often? Probably not. I have these eyeshadows and other eyeshadow palettes. Um, but it was okay. It, it, it didn't blow my mind. It, I, I wasn't really, um, uh, what's, um, inspired to do, you know, real creative looks. Um, they did perform well. The only thing is this shadow right here, uh, Dream. Um, it's kind of a white, uh, sil silvery shimmer. And I applied that with my finger um, in the very corner of my eyelids. And on the outer part of my eyelids, I used um, a different uh, shimmer shade. I wanted this to really pop for my inner corner and it didn't. It just kind of looked like the other um, shimmer shade. So that was quite disappointing. Um, but other than that, I mean, like I said, overall, it's a good palette. Uh, if you like neutrals, it did perform. It did do its job. Was I blown away by it? No, but um, you know, it's it's pretty. So um uh, you know, yeah, it's, it, would I like highly recommend it or, you know, no, I don't think so. I really don't. It's just, you can get these colors in, in any palette <laughs> on the market. So, it, you know, it was okay. So that's it. <laughs> yeah. So that's it for this video. Um, you know, Ari and I, again, we reassessed, reevaluated, did an in-depth review of all the products from last month's uh, BoxyCharm base and premium boxes. Um, this is hopefully going to be a, a new series um, on this channel. Um, you know, we had fun. I had fun. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I had fun going over everything. Um, the main reason why we wanted to do this is I had said before uh, in a different video that um, no one really goes uh, in depth in trying out the products from BoxyCharm. So I just thought it'd be kind of something cool and different uh, to do. So yeah, I had a lot of fun, you know, filming this and uh, I'm actually looking forward to trying out everything from this month february's <laughs> unboxing that we did just uh the other day so uh we will be putting that video up here in about a month or so so yeah um with that being said if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe also like i always say be safe be kind to each other and we will see you in our next video Bye. Toodles.